doing a bit of grinding. You call that a grinder? This is a grinder. No, no, no. That's not a grinder. This is a grinder. Welcome to Some Guy's Garage. Today, we're gonna test out some grinders and specifically, what difference does the size of a grinder make? So we have everything from four and a half inch corded, four and a half inch cordless. We have a five inch cordless. This will also take a four and a half, so we will try that. We have a six inch cordless as well here. And this one has a second guard that you can put a four and a half inch wheel on. So we're gonna try that as well. And then finally, we have a big seven inch corded. And I have a whole bunch of grinding discs here or flat discs. And these are all 80 grit. So fairly similar wheels in each one. They are slightly different brands just because these were what I could find for each different size. But we do have 80 grit in seven, six, five, and four and a half here. The other thing we're gonna test is this is the new FlexVolt Advantage grinder. So this one can take both the 20 volt batteries and the 60 volt batteries. So we'll be able to see as well just how much of a difference the different battery size and voltage makes. This cordless is the regular 20 volt grinder and this one is the full 60 volt one. So we kind of have the, the different spread of the, the DeWalt grinders here, the cordless DeWalt grinders. So we can see what the difference is between each one using both a different battery size and a different wheel size in the case of these two right here. So to test their performance, what I've done is cut out a whole bunch of these little one inch strips of quarter inch thick, three inch wide flat bar. And I have a tiny little scale here. And all we're gonna do is take each one of these samples, measure it before and after on the scale, and then we'll record exactly how much they've been able to remove in grams. To keep the results a little bit more fair, I'm going to actually use the video's timing itself down to the frame to see when I start and stop grinding. And this way I can actually calculate a removal rate from the wait before and after over the time period and that way we can get a very accurate sense of how much material each grinder is able to remove. So with that set up and all ready to go, let's get the testing underway. First, we have the D28402 with a four and a half inch wheel. The before weight is 95.8 grams. and the after weight is 91.7 grams. Next, we have the DCG413 with a four and a half inch wheel and our before weight is 96.1 grams. And our after weight is 92.9 grams. Next, we have the DCG416 with a five inch wheel on the 20 volt battery and our before weight is 97.1 grams. And our after weight is 93.5 grams. So same grinder here, the DCG416, but this time with a 60 volt battery instead of the 20 volt battery, still with a five inch wheel. Our before weight is 93.9 grams. And our after weight is 88.5 grams. That's quite an improvement going to the 60 volt battery. So we've swapped out the five inch wheel for a four and a half inch wheel on the DCG416. Again, with the 20 volt battery, our before weight is 89.9 grams. and our after weight is 86.1 grams. It seems like on the 20 volt battery, the DCG416 actually underperforms compared to even maybe the, the older DCG413. It'd be interesting to see. So last test with the DCG416, four and a half inch wheel on 60 volts. Our before weight is 93.6 grams.
and our afterweight is 89.4 grams. It would seem that the DCG416 really does need a 60 volt battery to perform decently. Next we have the DCG414 with a 6 inch wheel and its 60 volt battery. Our before weight is 93.7 grams. and our afterweight is 86.3 grams. As Todd from Project Farm would say, very impressive. I've switched the DCG414 to the four and a half inch disc, still with the 60 volt battery, and our before weight is 92.6 grams. and our afterweight is 86 grams. Finally, the DWE4597 with the seven inch wheel, our before weight is 89.9 grams. And our afterweight is 80.8 grams. So after running through all those tests, I'm just gonna repeat with the DCG416 with the five inch wheel on 20 volts. It was a bit of an outlier, didn't follow the trend. So I just wanna give it a fair shot to see if it, to see if it is actually down on power or was just a bad run. So our before weight is 87.2 grams. And our afterweight is 83.4. So given the starting weight, it's not far off its other run. And I guess that means just the grinder doesn't quite have enough power on 20 volts to run the five inch wheel effectively. It's an interesting result. All right, so there we go. We've tested all the grinders. I have all the scores up on the scoreboard here. And I'll put up on the screen right now the normalized values with the time taken into account. Okay, just wanted to pause here and add some commentary. From the results, how powerful the grinder is seems to have more impact than size alone. I found with the stronger grinders, I could put more pressure without the wheel slowing down. I am also disappointed with the DCG416 FlexVolt Advantage. It occupies a weird middle ground where on 60 volt it doesn't come close to the pure 60 volt DCG414, but barely betters the regular 20 volt. So you'd really need 60 volt batteries for it to be worth it. And at that point, you might as well just get the dedicated 60 volt anyway. So some pretty interesting results. Just for clarity, I did change the grinding wheels between each run and did make sure the batteries were fully charged just to keep things fair. Anyway, that's all for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.